OK. Now I want you to relax, Gail. I know this is your first time, but there's no need to be nervous. Just listen to the music. I wouldn't expect there to be music. Yes, there's music, so just have a listen, and when you're ready, start telling me what's been troubling you. OK. Take your time and relax. Right, I'm ready now. You don't need to say you're ready just because you feel you have to. OK. I don't want to rush you. Oh, that's a relief, because now that I think about it, I don't think I was ready. That's good. You're doing very well. My friend was right. You're really good. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Well, I always say, you can't force people to be ready. No, you can't. Some people will never be ready, no matter how hard they try. Oh, I hope I'm not one of those. But most people will be ready, when they are ready. To be ready. Oh, that is so true. Often I find people aren't ready until the seagulls have made an appearance. Finding those seagulls very relaxing. I need to get a copy of this. Oh, well, I have them for sale. Oh, it's very good, very original. It was actually done by my husband's band. They went on a boat and recorded it themselves and everything. Well, drivers, please return to the vehicles and prepare to disembark. I think I'm ready now. Woman. Like that. Plain hard to get. It's a clever approach, but... It's really the obvious one when you think about it. That's right, Duke, but the thing is... So often I just rush right in. But no this time. Hang on. I think you're missing something. How's she going to know you're plain hard to get if she doesn't know who you are? Hmm. Aye, well, she'll need to know you exist. Otherwise, you're no closer to going on a date with than anyone else in Stirling. Ah, but what you're forgetting is that I'm the only person in Stirling who spent the whole of last night staring at her in the pub. So I'm ahead of the pack. I think you might need to do a bit more. Remember what happened to Wallace at Falkirk when he went into battle and he hadn't eaten his tea? Actually, that's not the most appropriate metaphor for this situation, but you know what I mean. I don't want to wind up like Wallace at Falker. That was a disaster. Maybe I will step things up. Yeah. Try talking to her. No, I've got a better idea. It can't fail. I'm going to write her a song. I like your thinking. Come on, let's head up to the castle, or what many people regard as the gateway to Bridge of Allen. Man alive, Frank, the job's in the back. Well done. <sighs> It took a while, but eventually you were ready. Yes. Yes! I really lost myself in that wonderful music. It's funny. There's something magical about the sound of all those lorries, cars and caravans rolling off the Arran Ferry, which really does relax people. Yes, I really enjoyed listening to the foot passengers too. I wonder if that nice couple managed to get a B&B. Oh, they did. There's no need for you to be worrying about them. What a relief. Was it en suite? I don't know, Gail. So, did you have any strange dreams yourself last night? Not really, no. I dreamt I was learning to make a white chocolate and raspberry cheesecake. That sounds nice. I think it would have been, but I woke up before it was ready. It should be fine as long as you left it in the fridge. Tell you one thing, I'd get fit if I get this tour guide job. Having to walk up there every day. Aye. It's good the way they do that. Do what? Build castles on the top of hills. So they're easy to find. Although we have both been there before, so I reckon between us we'd have found it. Aye. That's true. I just hope I can find that girl from last night. Aye, I suppose there's not much point in writing her a song if you can't get to play it to her. Right enough. She might have gone back to Ireland by now. Could have just been a flying visit. Well, if it turns out she's gone back, maybe I could go and see the girl in the travel agents. Just to find out how much the flights are. No, no, you don't want to go flying off to Ireland too soon. That's a mistake a lot of folk make. Remember, she might not even be Irish. I'm sure she's Irish, Frank. 
The other thing I wanted to mention was a strange dream I keep having. There's nothing strange about having a strange dream. Strange dreams are perfectly normal. There's a married man and he's having an affair. Now that is strange. And what's she like, the, uh, the other woman? Well, I never see her face, but she has dark hair. She's dressed in grey. And last night... He, he touched, touched her, her leg. leg. That's spooky. That's very spooky. Are we having the same dream? Well, you'll have to tell me more. I'd like to. The thing is... What? I think I need to hear those seagulls again because I don't think I'm ready. Here we are up at the Esplanade, seen a many a famous battle, none more so than the Battle of Deacon Blue. <laughs> Took place during the band's encore here in 1993. Do you know, it is a privilege listening to you giving all that tour guide patter. There's not much I don't know about this castle. There's Robert the Bruce's statue. I wonder why the Bruce's statue is up here at the castle. Like, the Wallace Monument is miles away over there at the uni. It's kind of like they're no speaking to each other. Oh, they didn't get on, that pair. Well, no, in fact, I say it was because of the the. The what? The the. What the? The the and Robert the Bruce. I mean, why did Robert the Bruce have a the in his name? Well, William Wallace didn't have a the, did he? Right enough. He just had a wee gap. William. Wallace. I mean, that gap was too big, but... I mean, he could have called himself Robert A. Bruce. William Wallace. Now, that was more like the sort of gap that Wallace had. A Robert the latest, but not necessarily the best, Bruce. I wonder if that's where the expression, mind the gap, comes from. It's never really taken off, though, having a the in your name. Nah. It's only really Jack the Ripper that I can think of. Don't forget Billy the Kid. Not exactly a stamp of quality. Although there is the one and only the Edge. No, that, this, not in the middle. The is his Christian name. Mm. Not very Christian, though, is it? Oh, I don't know. The Bible? <laughs> I suppose that is about as Christian as it gets. I wonder why Bruce added the the in the first place. Maybe it was to make up for not being a knight. Like Sir William Wallace. Aye, if ever I don't get knighted for some reason, I think I'll change my name to Frank the Higgins. You could maybe crowbar a wee gap in there. Oh, now you're talking. Frank with a wee gap, the Higgins. Or maybe Frank the with a wee gap Higgins. Maybe I could have a the at the start and a the in the middle. The Frank the Higgins. No, I don't think that suits me. I think I'll maybe just have a wee gap. <laughs> Right, come on in, everyone. Watch your heads. We are now standing in the Great Hall. The Great Hall was built by James IV between 1501 and 1504. Frank, that's her. That's who? The tour guide is the girl from the pub. See, I was right. I told you she was Irish. 